and welcome back to this video. Today I have an interesting video because the Canon R7, like many other Canon cameras, can actually record video in up to three different video shooting modes. That's crazy, right? But when do you use which and which should you avoid? So you have standard picture profile, HDRPQ, as well as C-Log3. And let's play a game and let's see how many can you guess correct on which are these videos being shot at on which video formats. Here is a quick blind test on three videos shot in three different video shooting modes. Alright, so that's the end of this video. How many did you guess correct? Now, I want to go through with you in details on what are the standard picture profiles, limitations and advantages, what are HDRPQ, and as well as C-Log3, main advantages and disadvantages. Let's go. It'll be a comparison between the standard picture profile, the HDRPQ, and the glorious C-Log3. The first category we're going to test is into ease of use. So the standard picture profile is indeed baked in, so there's not much you can do about it. So in the category of ease of use, both the HDRPQ and the standard picture profile both take the cake because you don't need to do much post-processing in your Premiere Pro and NLEs because they look great. They look really nice out of the camera. Zero points for C-Log3 and in the next category will be file sizes. The standard picture profile shooting only 8-bit in H.264 codec container is indeed one of the lightest video codecs that you can ever get. Well, there is still IPB and there is still IPB Lite, but I'm not going to go into IPB Lite. I generally don't touch that up at all. And in the middle between these two lies the HDRPQ and the C-Log3 clearly takes the most amount of data per second. And in the next category, we're going to be testing this is into edit ability. So in terms of edit ability, we're looking into a standard picture profile example here. This image is pretty baked in and it doesn't have very good highlight controls. So notice the highlight on my face is being blown out by this extreme source of light, which is the aperture 200D that's shining onto my head. Now, as opposed to shooting in HDR PQ, hey, wait, take a look at my forehead. It looks so much better in this scene. However, there isn't a lot of things that you can edit once it's shot as well. Same goes to standard picture profile and HDRPQ. You try to adjust a little bit into its highlights or you try to recover shadows, which shadow recovery is great onto these two modes, but highlight recovery is almost, it's almost nothing. Like there's nothing you can recover from these highlights. It's insane. All right, so now into C-Log3. So why does it take so much space? It's because you can edit the hell out of it, just not like well. So what I mean by that is, look at this image for C-Log3. Clearly, there's a way to use C-Log3 and the proper way is to overexpose your image. In, unintuitively, you have to overexpose by one and one and a half to stop your shadows or blacks from looking too noisy. So yes, I indeed overexpose this image and the highlight recovery is actually pretty good. I'm actually very, very happy with the uh, highlight recovery for this C-Log3. So in terms of editability, C-Log3 takes one point and zero point goes for HDRPQ and in standard picture profile. 
And in the last category, let's look into what does your client or your editor want your videos to be in. And this category is easily one of the very important categories because sometimes when you shoot footages, you want to sell your raw footage to your client or you need to send over your footage to an external editor. Standard picture profiles are good enough for those of you who want a very quick turnaround time. And if you know that your client most probably don't have an MLE on your computers, they want to edit it on CapCut or in any other phone storage, having the ability to shoot in standard picture profile reigns supreme. Now here is an advantage of standard picture profile as opposed to the two others. Standard picture profile can be previewed on the computer. That is very important. Having the preview on the computer is where you do your sifting process sometimes. You know, if I have a lot of footage sometimes, and I do believe the same goes for you, sifting happens not in NLE, but it happens somewhat outside of the NLE because it just seems so much more faster and efficient that way. So standard picture profile is the way to go if you want to hand it over to people who are not production house, who don't care for color grading the heck out of the videos and just want a quick turnaround time as they want the videos in within one, two days. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you learned a thing or two about these things. If you want to know more about the Canon R7 or any other cameras, please leave in the comment down section below. What cameras do you want to see me review next or some tips and tricks for, I don't know, editing or picture taking or video making. Anyways, thank you so much for watching again. Now, if you want to get close to me, my Instagram link is down below and if you want to support this channel, there is a Pond5 link. Click on it and basically I get a bit of royalty when you purchase one of my stock footages. So with this in mind, thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope this video has been educational for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode again. Stay awesome, folks. Catch you in the next episode.